Great, great, great to. Hi guys, how are you? So, welcome to our science class. So, for our science, we are going to compare different animals, okay? So, we are going to compare different animals. And when comparing different animals, we're going to use a Venn diagram. What is a Venn diagram? It is an illustration that uses circles. As you can see, there are, the, the, there are two circles to show the relationship among things or finite groups of things. Circles that overlap, this one, have a commodity, commonality. While circles that do not overlap, do not share those traits. So, so if it is inside here, the one that overlaps, it means both of these two, both of these animals, they have the same traits, okay? But if it is on this side, it is, they do not share traits, okay po? Venn diagrams help to visually represent the similarities and the differences between two concepts okay so now let's have our first animals we have the tortoises and the turtles so the tortoises live on land while the turtles live on water okay the tortoises eat only the plants while the turtles some eat plants and others eat mostly meat. Again, the tortoises live on land while the turtles live on water. The tortoises eat only the plants while the, while the turtles eat mostly the meat. Okay? So, now as you can see here in our circle, the one that overlap, it means both of them both of them have pair of toothless jaw it's toothless with sharp edges for cutting food and then also both of them have a hard shell look at this shell for shelter and protection okay so this is the venn diagram for tortoises and turtles now let's go to our next come on okay we have the chickens and the pigeons the chickens they cannot fly high while the pigeons they can fly from one place to another but let's proceed to our um overlap circle both of them belong to the group of animals called bird okay both of them have beaks and claws both of them you have pair of wings and both of them covered with feathers okay so these uh, are our chickens and pigeons so let's review the chickens they cannot fly high well the pigeons they can fly high from one place to another and both of them belong to the fat group of birds group of animals called bird both of them they have beaks and claws which they use to get food of course and both of them they have pair of wings and both of them covered with feathers so this is our diagram, Venn diagram for chickens and pigeons. Let's proceed to our next animals. We have here the alligators and the crocodiles, okay? The alligators has a broad snout and nostrils. It's broad. While the crocodile, their fangs stick out on each side of the lower jaw when their mouth is closed both alligators and crocodiles have large animals with bodies covered with dry and bumpy scales so both crocodiles and 
alligators. Both crocodiles and alligators have a powerful tails, right? And both crocodiles and alligators have eyes, ears, and nostrils are found on top of their head. This Okay po? So this is our Venn diagram for crocodiles and alligators. Okay? So let's proceed. We have here the butterflies and the moths. Okay? Butterflies have a long, slender, and hairless body. Okay? It is slender and it's hairless for the butterfly. While the moths, they have thick and their bodies are furry. So, have thick and furry bodies. Okay, pa? The butterfly fly only during the day, while the moths, they fly at night. So, and when they are resting, the butterflies, they are resting, they fold their wings straight up. While the moths, when they are resting, they spread their wings flat okay let's review let's repeat the butterflies have a long slender slender and hairless body well the moths have thick and furry bodies okay the butterfly fly during the day well the moths fly during fly usually fly at night the butterfly, when they are resting, they fold their wings straight up. While the, the moths, when they are resting, they, are, they spread their wings flat. Okay po? Now let's go to the similarities. Or the similarities of butterflies and moths, both of them are insects. Okay, both of them have pair of wings. Both of them have an antenna. Look, antenna. And both of them become a caterpillar first before maging butterfly and moths. Okay po? Now, let's proceed to our next slide. So, we have here the fishes and the whales. Okay? The fishes, they are scaly or slimy. They have slimy skin while the whales they have smooth and firm skin okay the fish they have tails and fins that swing from side to side okay so when they are swimming their their fins uh, their tails swing side to side while the whales when they swim they move up and down. Okay po? The fishes, they breathe and can stay along underwater using their gills. While the whales, they breathe with their lungs and hold their breath underwater. And they come to the water surface to breathe and can stay long in fresh water. Now, for the similarities of fish and whales, both of them have tails and fins. Okay, so this is our Venn diagram for fishes and whales. Okay, now let's go to our next, the bats and the birds. Okay, so as we can see, they don't have similarities. Okay, the bats are mammals. Well, the birds are part of the bird called apes. Okay? The bats are covered with fur and born alive by their mothers. While the birds, they are covered with feathers and they hatch from eggs. Right? The bats are from their mothers, born alive from their mothers. While the birds, they hatch from eggs. Okay? The baby bats are called pups and they drink milk from their mothers. But the birds eat the bugs and worms that their mother brings. Okay? The bats, 
arms and structures that look like fingers connected by a thin membrane that forms into wings. Well, the birds, they have wings and claws. So this, uh, this is our Venn diagram for bats and birds, okay? So this is our last, the spiders and the insects, okay? The spiders has two main body parts, the head and the thorax. Well, the insects, they has three, it has three main body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Okay, po? And then, the spiders, they don't have wings. The insects, they have wings. The spiders, they have eight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. While the insects have six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then both legs and wings are attached to the thorax. So the similarities of spiders and insects, they both are invertebrates. Okay? So this is our Venn diagram for spiders and insects. I hope you learned something about our lesson for today. So now let's have our bookwork. Please open your book on page 117. Get your science book. Open it on page 117. Okay? You are going to find out the body covering of each animal. Choose your answer from the word in the box. Okay? You can answer shell. You can use it as, as many as you can. Scale, skin, feathers, and hair now let's go to our number one the snail what is the body covering of the snail that's right it is a shell okay now for number two to number ten you will be the one to answer okay let's thought let's have number two lamb lamb is it shell scales skin feathers or hair please write your answer Now, let's go to our number three, the duck. Duck, is it shell, scales, skin, feathers, or hair? Number four, fish. Fish, is it shell, scales, skin, feathers, or hair? Next. Number five, we have dog. What is the body covering of the dog? Shell, scales, skin, feathers, or hair? Now, let's go to number six, frog. Frog, what is the body covering of a frog? Shell, scales, skin, feathers, or hair? Please write your answer. Next, let's go to number seven, shrimp. Shrimp, is it shell, scales, skin, feathers, or hair? Next, let's go to number eight, slug. What is the body covering of a slug? Shell, scale, skin, feathers, or hair? Okay, for those who are, I cannot see. Okay, you can search this one as log in your Google so you can see uh, the picture of a slug. Okay, now for number nine, crocodile. Number nine, crocodile shell, scales, skin, feathers, or Hair.
And number 10, snake. Snake, is it shell, scales, skin, feathers, or hair? Okay, if you are not yet done, you can pause this video and once you are finished, you can now play it. Okay, but those who are finished, let's go to our assignment. So for your assignment, please study for our quiz tomorrow and take a picture of page 117 and send it in our class dojo. That's all everyone and see you tomorrow. Bye, guys!